Hi there, my name is Dari. I wanna welcome you to 30 minutes of strength with me today. This workout requires no props, just you and your mat. We're gonna begin with a breath of fire. I will walk you through this. This is to fire up your sympathetic nervous system and get you ready to really move and work from the beginning. Take a comfortable seat on your mat and I will talk you through it. So crisscross applesauce, sit comfortably, butterfly position, however, whatever is comfortable for you. You're gonna take a nice big inhale through your nose, fill your lungs completely. Then when we exhale, it's a forceful, quick, sharp exhale through the nose like a sneeze or like you're trying to blow your nose. It sounds like, sounds like this. We do 20 sharp exhales before we inhale again. Those inhales in between those exhales will just take care of themselves, so don't worry about that. Take a nice big inhale. Exhale completely. Inhale halfway. And then exhale, 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 exhale. Sharp, 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 strong. Five, four, three, two, one. Big inhale. Exhale, blow it all the way out. Another big inhale. And through the nose, exhale, 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 exhale. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Big inhale. This is our last time through. Fill the rib cage. Exhale, blow it all out. Just inhale halfway, all through the nose. We sharply exhale. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, halfway there. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Blow it all out. If your eyes are closed, open them up. We're going to come onto all fours on your mat. Just give yourself a little sway side to side. Make sure that your hands are right underneath your shoulders, your knees are right underneath your hips pressing your knuckles into the mat, creating a strong foundation with spread fingers through your hands. Curl your toes under behind you. Pick up your knees, pick up your hips, and come into a down-facing dog. Now, if this is the first movement of your day, bend your knees a lot. Straighten your leg, or straighten your back out, rather. We're just going to inhale and exhale here for a moment deeply through your nose. Create like a whispering sound on the back of your throat while you're here. Just listen for that ocean sound in the back of your throat. In through your nose, out through your nose. That's right. Feel your head drop heavy, your spine lengthen long. One more big inhale. Exhale, blow it all the way out, and now step or hop your feet between your hands at the front of your mat. Knees are bent, big toes are together, drop your head, slowly roll up, stacking your bones. We're going to mix a little bit of yoga and Pilates together today for this strength workout. So we're going to inhale, reach your arms overhead, palms touch. Exhale, fold forward, fingertips to the floor. Now inhale, lift your head and straighten your back flat. Pull your palms up to your thighs and squeeze your elbows towards the ceiling, lengthening long through the crown of your head, engaging your back muscles. Feel your scapula wrap around your spine and draw down towards your back pockets. That's right. Now forward fold. From here, you're going to sit into a tiny little ball. Reach your arms forward and plunk down onto your boom boom. Feet reach out in front of you. We're going to roll like a ball. So when we roll like a ball, you're going to grab your shins, bring your heels in as close to your hips as you can get them, round your spine, and we do three rolls. When you come back up, you balance 
on your sacrum. We've got one more. Come all the way up, plant your feet, reach your arms, straighten your back tall, and now round one vertebrae at a time down to your mat. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Here you are. Option one, feet on the floor. Option two, tabletop legs with your knees right over your hips. Option three, long straight legs. And we inhale for five, pump your arms. And we exhale for five, pump your arms. Inhale, there's your hundred. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Whatever option you chose is fine. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. You are halfway there. Inhale. Be strong. And exhale. Inhale. Three more sets. Exhale. Here we go. Three. And exhale. And two. And exhale. And one. And exhale. Pull your knees into your chest. Kick your feet and roll yourself all the way up. Onto your feet, hanging over your legs. Step back into a high plank. Squeeze your elbows to your ribs and lower halfway. Push up into up facing dog, long straight legs, long straight arms. Flip over your toes, downward facing dog. <sighs> Take a breath. That was our sun A. We're going to repeat that. Lift your heels, bend your knees, step or hop your feet to the front of the mat. Lift halfway. Remember our palms are on our thighs and we squeeze our shoulder blades together. Forward fold. Stand all the way up into mountain pose. Palms touch overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Palms are on the thighs, reach the neck long, pull the elbows toward each other and up towards the ceiling. Reach your palms to the floor, sit down, plunk, grab your shins, four rolls. One, balance, two, balance, three, <laughs> this is the kind of fun part, four, Plunk your feet, reach your arms, sit up tall, round back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Option one, option two, option three. I'm going to go here. Inhale and exhale. Now, second time through, your neck might be getting a little tired. If you need to support your head, that is just fine. Do it. If your neck is hurting, then you're hurting your neck. Inhale and exhale. If you need to support your head, just remember to switch arms. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. If your feet are on the floor, that's fine too. Exhale. We have three more. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale. Five, four, three, two, one. Two more sets. And exhale. Last set, really roll up one. And exhale. Pull your knees into your chest, kick your feet overhead, rock yourself all the way up to standing. Palms spread wide, step back, high plank, lower halfway. Push your arms straight and flip to the tops of your feet. Lift your hips. Drop your head, downward facing dog. Now listen for this change. Instead of stepping forward for our mountain pose, you're gonna walk your hands back, back, back to your feet. Hang your head heavy. My feet are hip width right under my hip joints. 
come all the way up to standing. Leave your hips or leave your feet right under your hips, hip width right where they are. Inhale, palms touch. Exhale, bend your knees a lot, fingertips all the way to the floor. Reach your hands overhead. Here's your chair pose. So this is the beginning of our modified sun B. Your knees, take a look and make sure your knees are right over your feet. Don't let them collapse in or out. So if we, we're fighting for some hip stability here in this chair pose, this will happen if we're a little weak. If you need to and you're not ready for a wide stance, wiggle your feet together and then just squeeze your thighs toward each other. That's fine too. That's a great choice. So you just want to have proper alignment. If you can go with heels under your sit bones, that's where you want to fight to get to eventually for this. Now fold over your legs. We're going to halfway lift. So again, on that halfway lift, pull your hands up onto your thighs and squeeze your elbows. Fold forward, and we're going to walk out and do a Pilates push-up series. So palms reaching wide and fingers really spread. Bend your elbows just to tap your elbows to your ribs and push straight. Lower elbows to the ribs and push straight. Elbows to the ribs, push straight, and then just shift back into your down-facing dog. Right leg lifts behind you, and we're going to pulse your heel to the ceiling. Eight, seven, six, five, right in your glute. Two, one, pull your knee to your nose and really round your back and contract. Go back for eight more pulses. Eight, seven, six, how we doing? Five, four, my hands are sliding, three, two, one, knee to nose. Really round your back, round your back. Last pulse, go. Eight, seven, all 10 toes are parallel, so really dial that top foot toward the floor. Last one, knee to nose, and step forward into your runner's lunge. Rise up into a crescent lunge, and here you can put your hands on your hips, or you can put your hands on your knee, or you can reach your hands here, wherever is stable for you. And we're going to do some dips, so little lunges, eight, seven, up and down like a merry-go-round horse, four, three, two, one, straighten the back leg, reach your arms overhead, palms touch, fingertips, frame your foot, pause here, anchor your left hand, Reach your right arm to the ceiling for a lunge twist. Go back to the floor. Step into your plank. Lower halfway. Push the arm straight. Upward facing dog. Your knees are off the mat. Lift your hips. Drop your head. Downward facing dog. And we go from here to our left side. Lift your left leg, eight pulses, seven, six, five. Feel your glute, three, two, one. Knee to nose, round your spine. Reach the heel, eight, seven. Really try to turn those toes of your left foot straight to the floor. Last one, knee to nose. Eight, seven, six. This is our last set. Four, three, two, one. Knee to nose and step your left foot between. Reach up to your crescent lunge. Choose your option with your arms and dip. Eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, one. Straighten the back leg, palms touch overhead, fingertips to the floor, right hand stays, left arm reaches for a twist. Fingertips to the floor, step back into your plank, shift forward, lower halfway, push straight and flip onto the tops of your feet. Up, facing dog. Flip back over your feet, downward facing dog. Let's pause here now and take some breaths. That was some good work. Feel your shoulders strong. Stay where you are. You wanna rotate, rotate your shoulders inward like your armpits are trying to look at each other. And then take a look through your legs and make sure that your heels are hidden from your view. Your heels should be behind your ankles so that you can't see them with your gaze. One more big inhale, calm down. Exhale, blow it all the way out. Walk your hands back towards your feet. Lift halfway. So you've got a straight back. Fold over your legs, bend your knees, bend your knees a lot. Reach your hands past your ears for your chair pose. And just for a little bit of challenge, we're gonna lower and lift your heels. Eight, seven, you can choose to have your feet together. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Heels down, dip a little lower, dip a little lower, stand all the way up. Beautiful job. We're gonna take from our nose, roll all the way down and hang like a rag doll. Hook, hook your big toes with your index finger. Take those, toe, those fingers and like hook around your big toes. Press your thumb on the top of your toenail. Spread your elbows wide and give yourself a pull so you have this whole loop from your feet through your legs, through your spine, back down through your arms to your feet. And just hang there like a rag doll for a second. Release your grip. Walk your hands out, away from your feet, and lower your knees down into a tabletop position. We're going to start with a little bit of a tabletop strengthening exercise. Reach your back leg straight. Reach your left arm past your ear. Now lower and lift the back leg. Tap the toe to the floor and lift. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift it up and keep it. Eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Really feel your belly and your abdominals pulling into your abs. Replace the knee, replace the hand and switch sides. Left leg reaches long, right arm reaches long. Lift and lower the left leg. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold, breathe and lift, three, two, one, replace your hand, replace your knee. Now take your right knee, cross it behind your left knee and spread your feet behind you. You're gonna walk your hands back and sit in a cow face pose. So knees are over knees. I'm going to turn and face you. You stay where you are. Knees are over knees. Feet are as close to your hips as you can get them. This is about where I'm at today. We're going to sit tall. 
Take your left hand behind your left hip, right arm, up, reach, and then twist over the front knee and rotate your spine. Try to settle your sit bones down. Reach that arm back up, unwind. Come back onto your all fours. And then we're gonna do the other side. So uh, let's see, which way were you before? <laughs> your right knee was over. So now switch to the other side. So the, you want the other leg on top. Right arm behind right hip. Left arm reaches up and over, find your knee, press and twist. We're so close to being finished. Unwind, walk your hands forward, come back to all fours. We're gonna swing the right leg out past our mat and come onto the right hand for like a modified plank. Here you are, lower and lift the left leg. Lift and lower. This is for your hip stability. It's also going to work in your shoulder. This is five, six, and seven, and eight. Bring your knees together. Sit down. And we're going to come all the way up side plank, all the way back down. This is for your shoulder stability. Make sure that the shoulder is pressing down away from your ear and you don't have any shrugging going on. Up, good, two more. This is two and one. Beautiful job. I'm gonna turn the other direction for our second side. Swing your left leg out. Your hand is in line with your knee. Lower and lift the right leg. Seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Fold your knees together, sit down. That hand is still in line with your knee so that when you pick up, they're in a straight line. Now, sometimes, depending on the length of your body, you might need to reach your arm out a little bit. I feel a little crowded, so I'm gonna reach my arm out. But you find the right distance for you. Four, three, two, last one. Beautiful, sit it down. Swing your legs around, crisscross. You did it. So that was a really simple 30 minutes, a little bit of a mix of Pilates and yoga together for core strength, hip stability, shoulder stability, and you've done it, so congratulations. I'm proud of you for making your way to your mat today. Let's end with some balanced breathing. Stay right where you are. Close your eyes. Reach tall through the top of your head. Growing taller, growing taller, up out of your pelvis. Take a nice big inhale. And Exhale, blow it all out. Inhale for four. Exhale for four. And now inhale through your nose. And as you exhale, open your mouth and let it all out. Twice more, we're gonna breathe like that. Inhale for four. Exhale for four. One more time, inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Thank you so much for joining me today for 30 Minutes of Strength. I hope this helped you. You can reach me at RockyMountainPilates.com. You can email me at Dari at RockyMountainPilates.com or you can send me a chat right from my website. I would love to meet with you on an individual basis. If you have specific needs that you need to overcome, I would love to have a, an appointment with you over Zoom, whatever is easiest for you. So contact me if you have any questions or need any help. Thank you. See you soon.